Hello, and welcome to Recipes with Ben. Today I'm showing you my recipe for a vegetarian friendly three bean chili. So to get started with the ingredients, you'll need one bell pepper, one red onion, one jalapeno, and I'm using my pickled jalapenos, which you can see in a previous video, link down below, and five cloves of garlic and veggie broth. For the beans, I have chosen one can of pinto, one can of chickpeas, and one can of black beans. And also one large can, which is about 28 ounces of tomato puree. But crushed tomatoes will also work. Then I have vegetable oil for cooking, and then we are onto the spices, which include black pepper, cayenne powder, chili powder, cumin, as well as some salt. So let's get to cooking. To a large pot or a Dutch oven, add the vegetable oil on the bottom, followed by adding the diced red onion and the diced orange bell pepper. Begin to saute them over medium heat. And after about two or three minutes, you'll see them start to turn translucent. And at that point, this is when you can add the chopped garlic. as well as the jalapenos. Then it's time to add the spices. So first add the salt, then crush some fresh black pepper, add the cumin, the cayenne, and the chili powder. Give everything a good mix so that the spices and vegetables can get to know each other. And then add one can of beans one at a time. Pulling that, add the tomato puree, and then you want to add the veggie stock. Now, I don't have an exact amount because what you're looking for is to make everything completely uh, liquid, but also you want to leave about an inch and a half of room from the top of the pot so as it does bubble and boil, it won't overflow. Allow everything to be mixed with some kind of spatula. I like to add at this point some dried oregano and then bring that up to a simmer and again mixing that to thoroughly incorporate. Once you read a simmer, reduce the heat down to low and place the lid on top. Now all the chili ingredients to marinate with one another and let it simmer for about 30 minutes. While the chili is simmering, I like to make cornbread muffins to go with the chili and I like to start them after the chili is simmering because it takes about 20 minutes from the cook, so you can have them be done at the same time as the chili. If you want to see how to make my cornbread muffins, I'll link them down below, so you can also have them. After about 30 minutes, you want to give the chili a taste, because everything should be cooked at this point. And this is where you can adjust your seasoning. If you want more salt, this is a good time to add that. If you want more, more chili powder, add that now. And if, if you add any more spices, then I'll let that simmer for an additional 10 minutes with the lid on. Then it's time to serve the chili hot. So in a soup bowl, I'll like to add two cornbread muffins to the bottom of the bowl, top it with two large ladle full of chili, and then add your favorite cheese on top. For me, that's pepper jack, because it's my favorite cheese. This chili, I would say, is perfect for cold nights. It's got a little bit of that heat, and it can be also be eaten for leftover for days to come. Let me know what you think down below, and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next recipe. Thank you so much for watching, and have a wonderful day.